What do Brene Brown, Gary V, and Ed Milet have in common? Besides being game changers, world changers, elite entrepreneurs, and authorities in their space, they all have a book. Sure, they, they have multiple books, okay? And so what I wanna to talk to you about is this, how do we create the celebrity of ourselves? How do we use a book to grow our business? How do we become the authority? Well, it begins by having a book, right? When you look at a lot of these industry and thought leaders, they've eliminated the competition because they have a book which further solidifies their celebrity. It further solidifies the fact that they know what they're talking about. Because when you write a book, people expect that if you've spent all that time, you must know your shit. So what I wanna do is I wanna talk about how you're gonna be able to build a business with ease just by having a book. And the first place we're gonna start here is that a book gives you credibility. Now you might be saying, yeah, Jake, I know if I have a book, I'm more credible. Yeah, but let's let's talk about why this is. Because it'd be great to say, oh yeah, I have a book, I'm more credible. That's true. But let's dig in a little bit because we can understand a little bit more about why this is relevant and how does this actually help us grow our business. So the first thing is this. Once you write a book, people see you as the expert. The minute I came out with my book called Elevate Your Network, people started asking me networking questions. The minute you come out with your book, especially the more specific it is, the more likely people are going to see you as the authority in that space. People will start to direct questions to you in that frame of reference. And what happens when you do that is that leads to people talking, people keeping you top of mind, people referring you out. And that is a great way to build referrals, expert referrals, and to be invited in as the expert to speak on different stages, podcasts, etc. The next reason why this book of uh, having a book though gives you credibility is because people understand your story. So if you are writing a personal development book, a nonfiction book, a how-to book, a self-help book, where you are teaching someone how to get a specific result, one of the ultimate things that you can do in this to make the book have long-term success is to share your story. And not everything about your story is relevant, but share what's relevant about your story to help the reader get the result that they are looking for. All right, because as much as you're excited to write your book, people are reading your book for what it could do for them. And so by writing about your story and sharing some important parts of your life, your transformation, your struggles, what you've experienced, what you've gone through, what your results were, people can then understand you. And when people understand you, they view you as somebody that's more credible. And that leads me directly into the next point here, which is that you get more credibility because people see that you are legit. So if I just talk about something versus if I've published a work of art on something, I'm going to be seen as more legitimate, okay? A book legitimizes your authority, your expertise, your experience, your transformation. And so when I see somebody has a book on top of the fact that they teach it, I immediately see them as more legit. Because unfortunately, there are a lot of people who just say what other people say and try to sell it as their own. But when you write a book and you put the time in there, the energy in there, the effort in there, people see that you're legit, okay? Next up is, and this is a huge one when it comes to credibility with a book, is that people, when they read your book, they make a decision on if they like your style or not. Now, this is critical because when somebody knows who you are, what your style is, and how you teach, and they get to decide, is this the person for me or is this not the person for me? That is a fantastic benefit for you. I would much rather know, hey, Jake, I love your style. You're my guy. Or I'd rather know, Jake, you're not my style. I'd rather go with someone who has a different approach. That's okay. I'd rather have a yes or a no versus a maybe. When you live in maybe land, it's harder to figure out specifics around your niche. Who responds better to you? It, it's what offer should you be using? And so when I write and I use my book, people can tell right away, I like this style. I like this direct style. I like this conversational style. This guy knows what he's talking about. I like the way he teaches. Okay, I want him to teach me on the back end. Other people are like, you know what? I, I get it. It's good information, but this isn't the person for me. And 
that's okay too, because ultimately I want to make sure you get the help you deserve. And if that's with me, fantastic. If it's not, that's okay too. But my writing is going to represent my personality, my story, and my expertise. And so that's a huge way to build credibility. All right. And the last part here that I'm going to share on just the credibility portion of this is people feel connected to you because they feel that they know you. And when people feel that they know you, you're seen as more credible. When I read someone's book and I spend four hours with them, I'm like, dang, this person, like I, I get this person, like I understand this person. And sometimes that is all the relationship is. Sometimes it leads me to following them. Sometimes it leads me to hiring them. Sometimes it leads me to booking them on my podcast, whatever it may be. And so that's just the beginning of this, of this, of this conversation that we're having today is that having a book gives you credibility for the reasons I just mentioned. But now let's talk about the, the, the meat and the potatoes of this, which is that when you have a book, you can build a business with ease, right? We talked about Ed Milet, Brene Brown, Gary Vee, they've all used books to get them to the next level, all right? But here's how a book, once you have it, can be used to actually grow your business, all right? But here's the coolest part about this. A book is the only marketing asset that you can have where you can use it in so many different ways, right? If you do a webinar, that is going to be pre-recorded or live. There's not really a ton of ways to do that. They can be really, really effective, but you're going to do a live webinar or you're going to do a pre-recorded webinar. You're going to put that into a funnel. You're going to have a follow-up sequence. That's just a straightforward method, okay? And those work, but a book can give you so many different ways to leverage it to build your business. All you have to do is the work one time and then now you can use your book in a variety of ways so for example right off the bat once you have a book you can start getting paid you have a book you can get sales sales can turn into royalties royalties turn into money in your bank account that's amazing right you did the work once you get paid for that work every time someone buys for the rest of your life second is you can use your book for client acquisition all right so when you have a book you can give your book to someone who's on the fence and that might be all they need to believe that you are the person to help them. Let me give you an example here. If Sally and Susan are competing for the same business, okay? And let's say they are both financial coaches. Sally's a financial coach, Susan's a financial coach. And they both are knowledgeable. They both post on social media. Their packages are similar. Their pricing is similar. And Sally, has a book on financial uh on personal finance but susan does not who do you think the general population is going to see as more credible who do you think is going to get the upper advantage when it comes to making that decision all things other being equal of course it's the person with the book because when you have the book as we just talked about you're more credible okay when you have credibility it helps people believe that you have the answers to their problem i know for me when i make hiring decisions if I'm looking between two people for a specific skill set and one person has a book on the skill set and one person doesn't, boom, that's a great, great reason for me to be like, oh, I need to give this person. They already put in the effort. They probably have their own system and way of doing things, which is working for them. Let me let me get into this and see what it's all about. That doesn't mean the deal is automatically done because you have a book, but it gives you a chance to stand out from everybody else. The next way that that you could use your book as a marketing tool is as a networking tool you can use it to get in the door with people you can use it to pitch yourself on podcasts you can use it as a gift to get in front of people you can't normally get in front of it's a great great thing to connect the dots you can do book swaps with other authors once you're an author all these other authors you're in an inner circle all right you're in an inner circle you've done the thing you now have something to communicate with people all right the next way you could do use a book is as a customer experience tool Somebody joins your program, someone buys your, your course, someone signs up to, to be a client of you as a real estate agent, someone uh, hires you as their doctor, whatever it is, boom, welcome, here's a copy of my book, you sign it, welcome to the practice, welcome to the team, welcome to the squad, new hires, okay, shit, I'll give you a bonus one here, new hires, especially if you work in, in, a, in a corporate setting, you're doing like a leadership book, boom, every new hire of your company, all right, bigger the company, more books you're getting out there right? Establishing it, leveraging the book for so many things. And lastly, for right now, you can use a book as a lead magnet. And, and, and look, you could use your book and have lead magnets within your book, or you can use your entire book as a lead magnet. You can give it away for free. You could run a free plus shipping funnel. You can give pieces of your book for free. You can give the audio book for free. There's so many ways to, to leverage that as, as a lead magnet. And so 
And so we kind of sum this all up. As we sum this all up, I asked, what do Brene Brown, Gary Vee, and Ed Milet have in common? They all have a book. And if you know who they are, you've probably come across a book of theirs. And if you come across a book of theirs, it probably reinforced or it got you to know them and become a fan of theirs. And that's what we can do for ourselves and our businesses by having a book is we can be seen as the person who knows their shit, the credible expert, the person who I can relate to, the person who can guide me to where I want to go. And we can use that tool in so many different ways to reach so many new people. So that's how you're going to use a book to grow your business, build your authority and become the person that you know you're capable of becoming. So let's get it and let's go.